have a look at the next question the question says if r is constant such that mod of x square minus 4x minus 13 is equal to r has exactly three distinct real roots then the question is find the value of r so certainly if you open the mod on one side x square minus 4x minus 13 should be equal to plus r and on the second side x square minus 4x minus 13 should be equal to minus r and the question is for what value of this r which is on the right hand side this equation uh, will have three distinct real roots now let's first try to expand x square minus 4x minus 13 somewhere in the form of a perfect square so let's make it x square minus 4x plus 4 minus 17 let's assume this value to be a sir now x square minus 4x plus 4 is nothing but x minus 2 the whole square minus 17 should be equal to r if you open the mod possibly x minus 2 the whole square minus 17 on one side will become r or positive r and on the second side it will be x minus 2 the whole square minus 17 should be equal to minus r so x minus 2 the whole square will become on one side r plus 17 on the second side it will become x minus 2 the whole square will be equal to minus r plus 17 now the question is on what value of this r this equation will have three distinct roots now certainly on the right hand side you should get two roots and or vice versa or versus the left hand side will get one root or the left hand side will get two roots and the right hand side equation should get one root because overall you need three distinct real roots only so possibly on one side i want one of the root to be zero on either side i want one of the root to become zero um, then only you will be able to get three distinct real roots let's see how do you do that now this is going to be possible when x minus 2 this is going to be possible only if x minus 2 will become zero and certainly if x minus 2 is becoming zero x will become 2 so there's only one value of x which is coming up as the answer as the root of this equation when will you get x minus 2 be equal to 0 when certainly r will be 17 when certainly r will be 17 now on one side you are getting one of the root here let's see on the left hand side equation how it's going to translate this to this will be x minus 2 the whole square will be r which is 17 plus 17 which is 17 plus 17 which is x square minus 4x plus 4 will be equal to 34 and certainly x square minus 4x minus 30 should be become should become zero now if you open this or expand this expression to find the roots of this equation you possibly should get two roots here and one root here which is basically accommodating three roots which are real in nature for this answer and this answer is applicable only and only if the value of r which you considered was 17 and hence you will mark option number c as the final answer for this question i hope all of you have understood it well